Well, hi there, and welcome to another episode of Hey, What's Next? Scenario, you gotta get a quick interview in. You have your phone, a tripod, maybe a single light. Are you gonna use the audio on your phone? Eh, it's not bad. But what if I was to tell you, you could get something like this for $25 on Amazon. Is it any good? Let's find out. This is What's Next. Well, here it is, the EJCC 2-Pack Wireless Microphone System. Uh, this was a purchase that I made uh, during the 2023 holiday season. It was either a Black Friday special or a Cyber Monday. They all kind of run together. Heck, they had Black Friday specials three weeks out before even Black Friday. So anyways, that being said, uh, this is for the iPhone. <laughs> We got uh, a type C connector available, but I got the uh, lightning port because that's what most of my devices are today. And to be honest, I'm one that just kind of keeps things using them for other purposes down the road. So in today's example, we're gonna use a recording, audio recording app on the iPad fifth generation. It works perfect for that. Um, so what would we use this for? Live shows, interviews, it says, uh, short uh, vlog, short videos. So imagine, you know, again, you need something really quick. Can this do the job? And you can see in the background, we have a standard Rode microphone and then a Boya wireless. We're gonna compare these three. And so I, you know, wanted to at least first, let's see what's in this box before we do any testing, right? So first let's open this up. And uh, here is this nice box. I wouldn't get rid of this. This is a really heavy foam that's in here. It's a great way to store your mics for later. You have your USB-A to USB-C connector for charging the devices. Uh, you are given, in this example, we have the receiver and two identical microphones. And in my testing, I did not have to uh, do any configuration. Uh, everything uh, was configured itself out of the uh, packaging. Uh, in addition to that, we have our wireless microphone uh, documentation. Uh, it is one of those accordion style foldouts, but it was helpful. I read through it, uh, and honestly, it, if I hadn't even looked for it, um, this does have a power pass-through right here. So we could just use the USB connector and power uh, charge our device while it's plugged in. But obviously, if you're going out into the field, you want to make certain you're charged up. But if not, you can still do it. Uh, the back side of the manual gives you some information and even shows that uh, little piece about uh, charging through the receiver and then some additional information over here. Um, the microphones themselves are really light, uh, easy to uh, carry around um, and you put it on your lapel, uh, your shirt, whatever. Um, it looks a little different than what is in the picture you can see that the elongated section of the head of the microphone here uh, the windscreen is obviously a lot shorter in the version that I have but if you go through Amazon there are a ton of knockoffs variations of this let's see how it works so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take off the uh, blue tape here and if I press and hold the button you're gonna notice that the uh, light is coming on uh, very holiday -ish. red and green there you go um, again, if this is plugged into the device, we'll do that in a second. Uh, you're going to see the connection and we're going to do a test recording. So I'll go ahead and turn that off. So both microphones work exactly the same way. Uh, we'll take the uh, blue tape off of this one here and on the receiver, uh, there's two pieces of tape. It should go about 20 meters. Well, we're not going to test that in today's video. This is really just a quick unboxing and testing it and then comparing it with some other microphones. So uh, let's uh, return here in a moment. Uh, we'll get the uh, app uh, started and we'll do a test recording. All right, now that we got everything kind of all laid out here, let's go into our audio app. This is uh, called Ferrite. Uh, it is a app that is just an audio recorder. Again, you could be using GarageBand or you know, any audio app, but this is what I've kind of selected. Uh, I like it because it does have some, you know, controls here. I can do my input gains. Um, you can tell right now that we're already connected and it's uh, picking up the uh, iPad microphone. Actually, why don't we do that? We'll do a real quick test here. So let's do 
Testing one, two, three. This is coming from the iPad fifth generation microphone system. So how did that sound? Did it sound okay? Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug in our receiver. In a moment, you're going to see it change to a different microphone, USB audio 1.0. Now what we should be able to do, I'm just going to randomly pick one of the mics. I'm going to press and hold the microphone and it's going to go green. And now all of a sudden you're seeing audio coming from this particular uh, microphone. Pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and put this on my shirt here. Um, and we're going to do another test. Hello. This is a test of the EGCC wireless microphone system on the iPad 5th generation. So how did that sound? Did it sound pretty good? Now, how would this sound if we tested a Rode microphone and the Boya? Um, we're gonna do a comparison with that. So let's give that a shot. Now we have the Rode microphone uh, connected up. We're using an adapter uh, from Audio-Technica. Uh, which then goes into an adapter that goes into the lightning port and then gets our headset microphone and that's how this is coming across um, so i'm going to go ahead i'm just going to hold this up and we're going to do another recording and again uh, just to listen to see what it sounds like uh, and we'll and we'll do a comparison at the end of this video of all three four audio recordings that we had so you can determine what might be the best solution so let's go ahead this is a test of the Rode microphone system on the iPad 5th generation. Now we're using the Boya wireless microphone system. This is the same system that I've used for most of the videos that I've created for Hey What's Next. So let's give this one a shot. I'm going to go ahead and set this down. This is a recording from the Boya wireless microphone system on the iPad fifth generation. All right, now that we've recorded all those, let's listen to all four recordings and see what it sounds like. Testing one, two, three. This is coming from the iPad fifth generation microphone system. Hello. This is a test of the EGCC wireless microphone system on the iPad 5th generation. This is a test of the Rode microphone system on the iPad 5th generation. This is a recording from the Boya wireless microphone system on the iPad 5th generation. So, what are your thoughts? on the EJCC wireless lavalier microphone set. Currently using it here for the outro of this video. To me, it sounds pretty decent. Would I use it for most of the productions that I do here? No, but for a quick run and gun situation, especially if it's an interview and I need two microphones very quickly, I think it's doable, I think it's passable. But that's my opinion. Leave your comments down below and what your thoughts are of this audio compared to the other microphones I tested today. Uh, but I, I, I think they're okay. 25 bucks, you can't miss it. I almost dropped it on the floor. Well, I hope you liked today's video. If you did, press the like button down below. Uh, again, leave a comment. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button so we end up in your feed again for another episode. We have some really good stuff that I got planned for you coming up soon. I'm glad that you were able to join me today, and this is what happens when I don't have a teleprompter and I'm trying to just wing it. Uh, we'll go back to the teleprompter in the next episode. Uh, again, thank you for watching. Watch one of the other videos that I got up somewhere here, and I will see you again on the next episode of Hey, What's Next?